Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Power dropped a trailer this week. And did y'all uh -oh. think I was going to go without getting that trailer? No. No, uh -oh. no, 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 no. Larry, and this trailer does have a reveal for my girl, and I am not happy about it. <laughs> they, they got my, they got my girl, Professor Megram, in here. And Larry, when I, te when I tell you I am not happy the way they trying to paint this woman who is an educator, I'm not happy. I'm going to play it and let you look at it, but I'm on a razor's edge with that. Don't you say nothing. Here we go. Life is done anything you had to do, even if it was the last thing you wanted to do. That's your hiding. This is I thought we had a deal, Sax. You can't trust anybody. I'm back for more. I'm ready. You need to tell me everything that you oh. up to. You know everything. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, let's take this bit by and bit. That now, I'll probably do a full breakdown trailer later, but because of time constraints, we're going to break this down piece by piece. Um, Nita and Larry, did y'all catch this? Look who they done brought back into the fold. Yeah, I saw that with a little fine self. Oh, right. goodness. Oh, goodness. Pretty as hell. Yeah, she all right. She all right. She's in college. Yeah, that's cool to look. Yeah, she, she all right. She all right. She, she ain't no professor, but she all right. She all right. So, yeah, she's a blazer. What? What? What, a straight role, blazer. what role is, do y'all think she's going to serve in the rest of this season? I'll give it to you first, Nita. Well, you know, I was thinking about that. I was wondering, was were we going to delve more into her side of the drug game? Because she's still kind of connected with um, the school that they used to go to. I forget the name of it. Choke, um, choke, choke. Choke, right. So I'm thinking because they're both in the drug game and – you know, I'm thinking that's how it's going to play. I don't think it's going to play romantically just yet, but I mean, that's that's my choice for Reek. I want him to, you know, kind of be with her. I don't really mess with Lauren or um, Diana like that, but yeah, I think she's going to just be in a drug game some kind of way. Larry, what you think about Effie? And I know you just want her because you would kick Ramona forehead to Ammonia quick for some Effie. Effie's a blazer. I like Effie, and she's legit. She's smart. She's good looking. You know, she seems to know how to play the game on from both sides of the fence. So, I like her. I think she's good for Tariq. I think both of them together will wreak some havoc on the world, and I like it. Um, I think she's probably going to come back in and end up being, you know, she's. I don't know. If she's going to be his distro. She might end up working for him. He might need to move some weight and be able to get her to, to move it for him. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be interesting to see how it goes, though. Because new, new theory for me. Y'all heard it here first. Well, you've been heard it here first, but you're going to hear more in the theory. I've been said that I feel like she has a connection to the Tejada daddy somehow, some way. And mm. I think that it's going to get revealed somehow, some way. And that might be the way Tasha can put pressure on the Tejada daddy who is putting pressure on Tasha through him threatening to hurt Tariq somehow, some way. So mm. we'll see. Now here's I the know next- I know Diana needs to check her little feelings. She's up there getting all butt hurt, <laughs> talking about you have somebody in there. Talking about, I don't owe you anything. I don't owe you explanations. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah yes, right. the hell, yes, the hell he does owe her an explanation. You doing business with my family. What, what y'all talking mm. about? You, that don't mean anything. You doing business with my family. You took me to a party, got me drunk. And left me sitting on the step. You owe me something, Tariq. No, you let, he didn't get her drunk. You that let that me where Tariq got, got his drink spiked. You let me take a gun out of your wallet. And if oh, you let me take he let you. <laughs> yeah. she, she robbed him and he let her take a gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You <laughs> let me take that gun out of my wallet. So here's another yeah. significant. Who said that? Who said that? That's a uh, spill the TTV said Diana needs to stop stalking Tariq. He sure does. She sure does. And hey, it's man. not like she's going to be able to catch him. Haven't she? Hasn't uh, Diana noticed how fast Tariq can run? Hey. If he don't want to be with her, he's just going to run away. She's not going to be able to catch him. <laughs> if you missed the Wednesday <laughs> show, me and Larry want to get paid when Reebok comes out with the Reek box yep. because of Tariq and all his running. You heard it all here first. Running. All running. You know now, the Reek trainers. Now, here's the next, the, the next thing that we, we're going to focus on. You see Meth McClain, and y'all remember <laughs> him, 
and Cooper Sack struck a deal that they're going to take down Tariq. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there was another clip in here where you saw this right here, Cooper Sacks interrogating someone he's trying to get to flip. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do y'all know who I think they both staring at intently? Um, Larry, I'll give you the first dibs. And who do you think that I think they're talking to? I think it's I think it's what's her name, homegirl, the uh, the black the black attorney that used to be a, a, a ADA. Nope, and I don't think or, that's who it is. Neither. Who do you think it is? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I, didn't. I think Cooper Sacks, when he was in that room interrogating somebody, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was Tommy. This is that's the only other than other than Tamika, which Larry, that's a great guess. It could definitely be Tamika, but We're I not think gonna see Tommy on the stand. There's no well, way in hell they're getting Tommy in the courtroom. Tommy might sit over there at the defendant's table. There's no way Tommy's going to be on the stand talking to anybody. Well, in this particular picture right here, I think that Tamika is on the stand. But when Cooper Sachs was in another room that wasn't the courtroom, I think that was Tommy. I think mm. that's Tommy. I think that's Tommy. And Tommy got dirt on Cooper Sachs, so Cooper Sachs ain't going to be able to push Tommy around. He can ask, but he's not going to be able to push Tommy around. Yeah, I just don't think I just don't feel it. Tommy's not Tommy don't play that. He's not a snitch. Yeah, he's not nah. a type that's gonna be going into the building talking to the feds. And, nah. They got they, they've got to find a way to bring Tommy back into the story. And it's gonna be one way or the other one like that. Now here's another gonna make us when they bring him back in, they're gonna bring him in such a way that we still like Tommy and we still think of Tommy in the same way because they want us to watch his show. Yeah. So they can't bring him in and make him a snitch because everybody would be like, oh, that's some weak-ass stuff right there, and then we're not going to want to watch his show. I think it would just depend on the manner in which he snitched. If he snitched on someone like Cooper Sacks to throw Cooper Sacks under the bus to save Tasha and Reek, y'all would still be fine with Tommy. Y'all would but be he don't have no motive to do that, though. He don't fuck that's with true. it. Neither one of them. That's true. Mm. He don't. Here's another significant picture, ladies and gentlemen. The Hellraiser... I guess the, the Tommy type of personality on this show has been Kane. But look at this. Who in the hell is tough enough to beat up on Kane? Uh -oh. Somebody, look at that little arm right there. Is that Professor Jabari throwing Kane up against the wall? <laughs> is, is, that old copy, is that old copyright Jabari? Let me show you his copyright ass face. Is that old copyright Jabari throwing Kane up against the wall, Larry. Who is it beating up on Kane? It could be, it could be Jabari, or it could be that we just don't realize that Effie has some MMA skills. Man, he see, neither. I'm, I'm just saying, neither. we don't know. She might know some, she might know some jujitsu or some, some taekwondo Stop or something. It. You know, she might be up there just putting hands on people. Okay, Nita, who do you think that is beating up on Kane? I'm not even, I'm not. I don't really know, but I do know that they, we, they showed um, the picture of the guys um, with the diamond mask or something. So there are other players that's coming into this. So I'm thinking it might be something that's along that line, but. Right. Yeah, it could be that other click, the one, the, the other one that he went in there and they shot up. GTG, yeah. baby. Yeah, it could um, be that and, quick. And the only way they got him like that is sneaking him. Because right. I don't think right. that nobody got it like coming at him like face to face. It's like maybe he, it just happened out of happenstance. Somebody ran up on him and something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, right. I was going to say, it ain't no way copyright Jabari is fighting Kane. I think it's GTG. Because mm. remember... They beat up on GTG the last time we saw gang GTG, and GTG wants some heat. So that's probably them in those red masks. That's probably them beating up on Kane and Light. Neither the diva said. You ain't just going to run up on him any kind of ways and get him up against the wall. You snuck him from the back of his head. Pop, right. pop, bam. Now, this is what you Larry know, wants. You know what, Lamont? The thing that yeah. never made sense to me about that whole GTG thing is, is that they went there and, and beat that dude down and and they basically said didn't do anything they took it because that was their connect they didn't want to lose their connect but then 
but then Mary's character went and said she was cutting them off anyway. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if they're cut off, why would they not? I mean, maybe they didn't know in that moment that they weren't cut off, but why wouldn't they go and and try and get revenge? I mean, they it, for one, they know where she lives at. If they beat them down like that and then cut them off, why wouldn't they just go to their house and just straight firebomb it? Just burn that whole piece up and, and wait for them to come outside, just light them up. I mean, just have a couple of trucks outside with their guns, low firebomb their house, and when they come running out like rats, just start lighting them up. Well, Larry, you don't want to be that obvious. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't want to be that. You want your revenge, but you don't want to be that obvious. You want to be poetic when you take your vengeance. And you want to do mm. it in the middle of the night, and you want to do it in a way where people can't eyewitness who did it. Okay. So now, this is what Larry been waiting for. And I almost didn't even do this. I almost didn't even capture Dilson because I didn't want to hear nobody's mouth. Now, I'm going to go ahead and warn y'all black folks and some of y'all Anglos that follow this channel, Anglo-Saxon people. I love y'all too. And my Trinidad folks and my folks in Europe. I'm about to go ahead and give y'all the warning right now. I do not. And when I say do not, I do not want to see nobody putting no locks, no keys, no basketballs, no nets, no Air Jordans, anything that highlights the wedding of Professor Megram's underwear. I don't want to see it when I put this up here because I know what y'all are going to say. And I'm going to give it to you, Nita, the diva, because I don't really want to hear what Larry got to say, but take a look at this. <laughs> Man, what the hell is that dude up there looking like Eddie Winslow? What is you doing, Professor? <laughs> What is you doing, Professor Meagle? What? Come on, man. He's up what? there smashing Bill Bellamy's son. Oh, my God. Oh, so that's why he looked like Eddie Winslow. Man. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Have mercy. <laughs> Nita the Diva, I just got to go ahead and ask, is he going to get this chick pregnant? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, Lord. Nita the Diva putting... See, I, Nita, <laughs> you're, you're muted. Larry, I'm going to go to you. But this chick out here putting keys uh, all in the comments. Nope, nope. I nope. was looking for the lock. I couldn't find it. God, oh. man. But go ahead, Nita. Go ahead. What you think? Is he gonna get her pregnant? Um, I, I swear, I hope not. I hope not. However, I just noticed that he curved her real like what? nasty. Like I was like, oof. He, it was, this was not a good look. I was like, oh man, it's look how he look how he walking away from her. Like exactly. she, done lost, she done lost all her glow, her sex appeal, all that stuff. Like he's he's over it. She probably, mm -hmm. I mean, she heard the lock and key. She probably came back just for some more. <laughs> Did you see the <laughs> windows? There wasn't a lock on them. There wasn't a single lock on those windows, wide open. <laughs> what, 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 what? Go ahead, Larry. Your turn. Your turn. Since everybody want to get a turn on the door and mess with the locks and keys, your turn, Larry. Oh, yeah. What you All think? I have to say is, you know, it looks like they're probably quarantined together. That's just all that's happening. I'm trying to give you a little, I'm trying to throw you a bone. It looks like they're just quarantined together. Maybe he was over there for some tutoring and then the pandemic hit and then they were locked down. He couldn't leave. And since, you know, he's just, yeah, that's all that happened. That's why they look so comfortable together because they've been locked down together for a couple of months during the, during the quarantine. That's all it is, <laughs> you know? Why? No, Larry, if that was all it is, why is his pants almost at the line of his crotch? You know? See, I was trying to give it, to, I was trying to cut you some slack for your girl, but now you're going to make me have to go in on her. <laughs> well, before you I'm go. I'm just saying, yeah. you know, you know what it is. You know, know. you know what it is. Uh, look, he's done. Like he, like, like Nina even said, it. he's done. He's like, yeah, yeah, I've had fun. She looks, she's so. Look at that. She can't even she can't even do her hair anymore. She's just so broke down. Oh my lord. She's man. looking at him all thirsty and he's like, whatever, I'm out. He like, chick, go know? make me a sandwich. Go make me a sandwich, man. Lord <laughs> have mercy. Golly. But you nice know place, what? Though, I like those big windows. It sort of looks like a big uh sort of like a big warehouse loft studio space or something with those yeah, windows. I like that. that. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you know, well, while y'all making fun of her. I bet y'all won't be making fun of him because look at this right here. And I'm telling you what this means. Larry, this right here is showing you he's about to get his ass injured. I'm telling you, maybe when they show pictures like this, he's going to tweak his ACL. Something bad is going to happen to this brother on the court. 
and it's going to all be because he took advantage of a professor. He, <laughs> oh, he, 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 he took advantage took of advantage, a woman. Huh? He took I think it's the other way around. Oh, That's no, 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 no. When you have the problem and somebody accosts you, <sighs> that means someone took advantage of you, you know? Oh, and, and so gracious. Be, and, and, and because of that, karma is going to come back on TV and kick him in the butt. He's going to slam dunk that ball, come down and break his ankle in two places, break his knee in three places. Goodbye, NBA. And um, that's going to be end of that lock and key relationship for them. Click. It's unlocked. Maybe uh, maybe what will happen is Zeke is going to get injured, and then what's it? And then uh, and then his cousin's going to turn around and get an art scholarship and end up going to school there. Who Drew? <laughs> Drew Drew's going to get an art scholarship and go to school there. Well, and then he's going to marry that. That he's going to marry that basketball player, so they still get the money coming in. Hey, I'm fine with that. You know, as long, as long as we don't have anyone taking advantage of the professor, she needs help. Oh, that's done. That's done. Zeke, yeah, Zeke didn't knock her up. She's, you know, he's gonna he's gonna be able to stay in school because once his scholarship's gone because he can't play, they're gonna want to get rid of him. But she's gonna go to bat for him because she's gonna be knocked up by him. So she's gonna be like, yeah, I think he should stay because she's gonna need her baby daddy around. And 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 this is the last one. Then we'll get out of here. How is Tariq gonna use? Professor Copyright. That's that's my new nickname for him, Professor Copyright. <laughs> Nita, I give it you dude, first. Dude was tripping. I don't know what the hell he was thinking, man. Tariq is got. Maybe he just doesn't understand. Yeah, obviously he doesn't know who Tariq is. But Tariq nah, has got this dude, as they say, by the short and curlies. Because yeah. I hate to see the I hate to see the damage that Tariq is gonna wreak on that dude's life. He's going to wreak yeah. is gonna wreak havoc. Yeah, <laughs> in his reek box. So Nita, how do you think Tariq is gonna use him when he finds out that he stole this paper? Yeah, I always I always thought that this whole the reason why they were um so focused on Professor Megram and the uh, uh Elder Barge dude. Is because he was, to, he was going to blackmail them, and he was going to work his way because you know he's just trying to get his degree, and so he's just going to work that. He's going to blackmail them. I don't think he's going to snitch on them, but just the fact I know he's going to use it. Mm -hmm. You know, Tariq is going to use it for sure. You know it. So I'm just thinking it. somebody going to get caught. I don't know. I wonder. So he may find out that the um, the dude Elder Barge is sleeping with all the students, and then you know he kind of like put a little something on him, give him something. But then he may also on the back end find out later on once he um, read the book because you saw Lauren uh, read, they had the book in the house. That's right. Mm. So he may come across and read it, and then that's number two. He got two strikes on him, so he might right. get that. That fast track degree real fast. <laughs> yeah, he could, right. He, he's gonna get that degree quicker than you get an associate's degree in community college. He's about to get that shit fast. Now, mm. I think Professor Megram is gonna pick up and realize that Jabari stole this from Tariq, and then she's gonna go right to bat for Tariq, and then they both gonna have Jabari by the balls, as Larry was trying to say. And Reek is just gonna use Jabari to advance his degree. And I wouldn't even be surprised if he used him to start holding drug money or something to that effect. He's gonna use him because you gotta think about this. If it comes out that this book is not only is it successful and it sells a lot, but then on the back end, it comes out that he plagiarized from a student, this man's career is over. He's gonna be flipping burgers somewhere. He will never be able to be a professor no publishing yeah. person is going to take him seriously no well, more. Yeah, His I mean, career is over. Right. His career is over. It's done. Right. So, and with Tariq knowing that he's going to have that much power, I wouldn't be surprised if Tariq make him wash his money. Tariq going to make him get his hands dirty somehow, some way. So, yeah. I don't know about the. I don't know about the washing the drugs. I mean, the washing the money, but definitely education wise, I think he's going to um, push him in that direction. I think he's definitely. He, 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 
You got to trust everybody out there. No, you can't. But when you've got enough dirt, this is how people in the, in the, in the drug game and in the, the mischievous game do it. I get dirt on you. You get dirt on me. Whoever has the most significant dirt on the other one has the leverage. And yeah. Tariq, just, Tariq going to have some significant leverage on that man. Because that's what uh, Ghost did to Proctor. You yeah. Know, that's yeah. how he got right. Proctor under his belt or whatever. Yep. But he was I just want to know when Tariq is joining the track team. Is it this when, season or next season? When they give him a contract <laughs> for the Reek Bach, and then they pay me and Larry for discovering that name and putting it together, you know? and then he can get his deal. Yeah, that's that's when that's gonna happen. Yeah. That's what's gonna be. Yeah, I saw a comment, y'all, from Spill the Tea saying <laughs> that um Kane is gonna be um jealous of Tariq. So, do you think in that situation that might have been Tariq putting hands on Kane? Hell no. Tariq, I don't think so, but you no. never do know. No, Tariq's not a fighter. Tariq will kill you, but he ain't going to fight you. Um, no, no. I no. mean, I, he's not going to do that to Monet's son. No. Maybe it's no. Brayden. I, I Maybe mean, it's Brayden. Maybe Brayden's got those skills we don't know about. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. let him know that he can't be messing around with him like that. Like, kind of like, you know, put your dick on the table a little bit, something like that. Yeah, yeah, so I can chop it off. Put it on up there. Put, put put your meat out there so I can chop that bitch off. Oh Lord. Just like that. Woo. Chop it off. But, hold but, on, let me hold on. Let me reel you in. Okay. Let me okay, reel okay. you in. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap for us tonight. We're here tripping too much. 